went into the extra time when Everton levelled the scores at one all with only five seconds remaining. Tim Sheridan with the story. The traditional Anfield anthem had never been sung with such emotion as the Liverpool fans tried to forget the horrors of Hillsborough for their day of glory. Tradition dictated proceedings at first. Royalty made their appearance. But what followed cast a chill throughout the 85,000 crowd as the 95 fans who weren't there were remembered. The Liverpool players responded in the best way they could, turning defence into attack for Aldridge to finish. Great position, and Liverpool have scored in their first attack. Six million dollar striker Ian Rush came on, but he was followed by an unwanted visitor who preempted a change for Everton's fortunes when McCall equalised with seconds of normal time to go. Give a chance to Aguilar, and it's got in. And Everton have equalised, and there are people on the pitch. And there it is. It's extra time. Then, after just five of the 30 minutes extra time, replacement Rush brought the terraces to life. The drama continued. Minutes later, McCall equalised for the second time. Driven by their fans and despite the 30 degree heat, Liverpool found that little extra to claim the cup. It was too much for the crowd. Sadly, the players couldn't do their lap of honour. But as they had said earlier, this one was for the fans. And certainly nobody in red walked alone at Wembley. Meanwhile, at Hampton Park, a mistake by the Glasgow Rangers defence allowed Joe Miller to pounce and give Celtic a 1-0 win for their second successive Scottish Cup final. David Peters, National 9 News. Both sides clung to every vantage point for the special procession through the streets of Liverpool. The victorious Liverpool players paraded the Cup from the upper deck of their bus, given a police escort through the fans of both teams. Liverpool defender Alan Hansen summed up the feelings of an FA Cup final between the two Merseyside teams. An FA Cup final is, is a one-off thing, but if you're playing Everton in an FA Cup final, it's always going to be special. 